Hi everyone. So this is a Yesu FT857. And what I want to do is I want to program it so that I can use a repeater. I'm going to be using the Long Beach VA Hospital repeater. It's a, a 2 meter FM analog repeater with a call sign of K6SYU. You're going to need three numbers for um, programming the radio to access the repeater. The first one is the listening frequency. In this case, it's 146.790 megahertz. The next value is the offset, which is negative 0 0.60 megahertz. And the last value is the repeater access tone, which is 103.5 hertz. All right, so to make sure that we have the proper shift sign on the offset, we're going to have to turn on a couple of menus uh, in the radio. It's not necessary, but I think it's good practice to have the radio do these settings for you automatically. So the first thing you want to do is press and hold on the function button or yes press and hold and then go to menu number one um, the extended menu should be on use the select knob to go to menu number two this is the two meter automatic repeater shift we want that on use the main dial use the knob to go to menu number three uh, this one's the 70 centimeter automatic repeater shift we want that on okay so let's press and hold on the function button. Great. So next thing we want to do is enter the listening frequency. So let's do that. 146.790790. Let's enter. Awesome. OK. So you can see we're in FM and we have a negative shift. Now, if you modified your radio, those um, shift signs won't um, appear. So to fix that, just press once on the function um, button here. Go to the multifunction row D, as in dog. Then you get the RPT, or I guess it's the repeater button. Um, definitely, it's going to change the shift value or shift sign here we have negative positive none so in this case it's going to be negative and you can change it that way okay now the offset value i'm going to make sure it's 600 megahertz it should be but let's check let's click on the rpt button press and hold and then you can change the value if you need to you can see we're in menu 76 it looks like for the um, repeater shift uh, value click and hold on the function button All right we're out if you add the offset with the listening frequency you'll get your transmission frequency um, value and that value will show up right here if you click on it and there it is. It will show you the transmission frequency. It's going to give you 146.190. Perfect. The next step is to type in the repeater access tone. In this case, it's 103.5 hertz. The tone allows you to access the repeater. It's kind of like a key to open the repeater. And to do that, let's click on the function button once go to row E and you see T-O-N. So this will allow us to activate the CTCSS or Continuous Tone, tone Code uh, Squelch System. And so basically because this is a analog repeater we're going to click on T-O-N once and then you get T-E-N on the top. T-E-N um, is one of four 
uh, available uh, settings. All right, now the next thing we need is to make sure that we have the proper value for the tone. And what we do is we press and hold on TUN. And in this case, we're going to be at 103.5. Okay, good. Press and hold on the function button. I think we are ready to go. Let's put up the volume here a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to listen, see if uh, anybody's speaking, so we won't interrupt their conversation. And when we're ready, we're going to press the PTT button for about a second or so. Of course, the transmit light will turn on. And we'll see if the repeater uh, talks back to us. It works usually, but if it doesn't, that's okay. Let's try it. And well, it did work. And now we have access to our repeater. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. This is Frank KN6BST.